Welcome to SCAT Sessions. This is our second show tonight. My name is Johan Di Ureña. And tonight we have reggae music from Houston, Texas with Idigenous. How's everybody doing? Welcome, guys. How you doing? Thank you for having us. Tonight we have uh, our beautiful guest, and she's going to be our host, Christina. So I'll take it from here, and it's all yours. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're all so excited. Thank you for being here. Okay, so uh, can you just introduce Ken? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> so can each one of you introduce yourselves and just say what you play in the band? And we'll start with you. I'm Joe Mo, and I play percussion. Awesome. I'm Dizzy Boots. I play bass. My name is Azram. I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> 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 no, I play the guitar and um, I sing a little sometimes. And I'm yeah. going to be sitting on drums with them tonight. Uh, we also have the other guys here uh, ready to rock. So we have Mike on trumpet and Anura on keys and organ and every awesome stuff there that you have to do. Uh, so. so what genre do you consider yourself? Roots reggae music is really what we play. You know what I'm talking about. We don't really waste our time with um, other stuff. We're just a roots reggae band. We don't, you know, try to be anything else. Um, you have a lot of bands doing a lot of other things, and they call themselves a reggae band, but we play roots reggae because it's from the heart. Okay, so that's what it means. That's what root reggae means. Yeah, it's from the roots of dealing with hell Celeste. It's the king's music. Interesting. Right. <laughs> so talking about that, Orson, can you explain what is Rastafarian and, sorry, what is Rastafari and what it means to you? Well, Farai is everything. You know, it's the beginning and the end of creative life. Um, it's the 225th king to sit upon the throne of Ethiopia, elect of this world, like the power of the Holy Trinity. Um, he means everything. I mean, he's the creator. Um, the music you got from Bob was about Rastafari, El Salas, you know, Ethiopian king. You know, the music that was created, it was created for the king, you know, the vibe. And that's, the mu that's what you guys portray in your music? Definitely. Most definitely. Awesome. So how long have you been playing? Um, we knew each other. We, I, I think I met Azram probably 99, 1999. And we, a, we were a Harley show. We yeah. was at a, the Whaler show. It yeah. was incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> and, and we kind of hooked up then, and we were playing with, a, with another band. And, um, and it wasn't until 2006 when um, that band ended, and we had an opportunity to start something else. And he came to me, and he said, I have all these songs ready to go. So if you have players to go, then we'll start Idigenous. Yeah. So that was probably 2006, 2008. I don't remember. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> it was somewhere around yeah, then. It's been a while. And uh, we've had a revolving door of musicians come and go. And, uh, and this is what we're stuck with now. Awesome. <laughs> and is this the same time that you joined the band? No, I'm <laughs> a little bit later. No. Um, the, the, the thing about it was, is I was a bass player, and he was a bass player. I was trying to be a bass player. <laughs> he was a bass player, and you, I, you I showed me some things. Yeah, and I, I, I told him come and you know wherever he, you know, as my close friend, I told him to come and you know whatever I was doing, that I would make sure that I would involve him in what I was doing. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. It's the same way with Mike. It's the same way with Nora. It's the same way with Jomo. You know, I, I knew him before I knew, you know, everybody, and. Uh, he was making so much noise on the outside of the stage that I, I, I told him, man, get your drum and, you know what I'm talking about? Join the family. Yeah, because we couldn't record anything. It was just loud. You know what I'm talking about? He'd be in the audience saying, pop, 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 All the time. It's like, it's like whatever we was recording, it was like, uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. That's Yeah, that's Jomo. So, so we brought him in and, and uh, it's, it's been such a blessing to have him there, you know. Wow, so you were a fan and oh, then definitely. you became been, a member of the band? Oh, I've been a fan ever since uh, Tex African. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah, that yeah. like a dream come true to yeah. be a member of the band? That oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Because I believe in the music from the beginning and follow my way, Cosmic Force, and 
Texas African, like I said, and all the way to now. So wow. I probably was at every show. Sound <laughs> checking. Yeah. 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 Roadie for a little while. Too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a roadie for a while. Yeah, yeah, that's well, true. Well, they that's don't know. They got me in some of the shows. Right. right. That's actually true. <laughs> that's really true. That's, that's really awesome. True. So that's that really leads true. to our next question. Um, can you talk to me, uh, can you talk about the creative process? Like, is it a collaborative creative process? How do you write your songs? I know um, my songs are just stories. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's a story. That's all it is. It's a, it's like um, one day I was feeling this way and I, I told a story. You know, and, and the funny thing about it is the story comes before the music. Okay. You know, so I've been writing songs for I don't know how long. I can't even tell you how long I've been writing stories. You know, and, and uh, we'll get together and I'll tell them, hey, I have an idea about something. And, and the funny thing about it is they're able to create what it is that I hear. Wow. You know, and, and with that, you know, then you get this sound, you know, and, and it's unique within itself, you know, and, and we're really having fun. And, and um, I, I talk to the father about everything. I tell him, you know, this is what I need. And, and you know, and it's a little bit longer that it shows up. Everything is about patience. Please have patience. Um, this is the same thing happened with him, you know. It's the same thing happened with Johandi. You know, he just showed up one day. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It was like, hey man, I love what you guys do and I play drums. And I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, come and let's have some fun. You know what I'm talking about? And, and, and he was like, wow man, it's incredible what you're doing. And I'm like, ah, we suck. You know, but we get to play music <laughs> for the king, you know, so everything is okay, yeah? Everything is a blessing that we've had. Yeah, it just straight. kind of showed up. I mean, yeah. straight. What we needed, you know, it, it showed I, up. Wow. I've been trying to show them things through divine inter intervention. If you put it in the atmosphere to the most high, you know, and you're serious about it, he'll bring it to you. You don't have to go out looking for it or, or anything. He'll automatically bring it to you, just like that. He'll just say, okay, okay, Father, I need a drummer. You know, or, you know, I need a bass player, or I need a trumpet player, or, or like Anura, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We, we were missing the keyboard sound in our music, you know? And he comes in like Liberace, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This is for my brother George, you know what I'm talking about? And so when he plays, it's like it takes you to another place. And so we're, 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 we're able to, I, I consider this to be a dysfunctional, functional band, you know? Okay. That's the way I see it, you know, because we, we, we're all over the place, but when we actually start playing music, you'll see a little bit later. Yeah, it's real. Awesome, we will all see a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, are you currently working on a project? Yeah, we're, um, we get to open up for the Whalers in April. Wow. April, uh, April 29th. Yeah, April 29th at, Pub Fountains. at Pub Fountains in Houston, Texas. Stafford, Texas. Uh, Houston. Houston. <laughs> Stafford, really. But, you know, we're all from Houston. And oh, so, um, yeah, we're going to open up for the Whalers. Yeah, but we've awesome. done it before, but every time it's better. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So it's like we're working on a new CD entitled Forward because that's what the movement is about. That's the far as about forward. It's not about anything going backwards. We don't take, we don't say backwards in Rust the far way. You know, we always say forward. We're gonna forward. You know, if you're leaving the room, you'll say, yes, yeah, forward, I am. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Like, you know, I'm in a forward, not saying I'll be back because that's your path. You're always looking at me. So it's a very positive vibe. Of course. I mean, Rust the far right <laughs> is the most positive vibe. I don't know anything else. I've, I've um, you know, I've read everything, man. I've read everything. You know what I'm talking about? But but Far Right is the only thing that I know that's talking about love. Everybody's preaching love. You know what I'm talking about? But to be a Rastafarian is a way of life. It's not a religion. It's not anything that anybody can, that, that, that's what they want to pinhole. They want to put you in a specific stage. Okay, well you're a Christian. Well, I respect Christ. You know what I'm talking about? You can't know the Father if you don't know the Son. It's just that simple. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? But Christ himself was speaking to the Father. He said, I didn't come for me. I came to make you remember the Father. So in that sense, you would automatically know we go straight to the Father. We don't waste our time with anything else. Got it. Where do you usually play? Do you guys play in, just in Houston? Do you also go out of town? 
Of course, we play everywhere. We were in Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, we go every summer to California and play on Venice Beach. You know what I'm talking about? And in and around. You know what I'm talking about? Um, definitely in Houston, we have to represent the hometown. You know, but we're not afraid to travel and go out and, you know, let people experience Texas reggae because, you know, that's what we do. Yeah, so what has been the most interesting venue that you guys have played at and why? Um, first and foremost, it's the House of Blues uh, because it's the House of Blues. <laughs> They feed you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they really take yeah, care of you right. backstage. I mean, they really do. Um, the other place, of course, is, is uh, Venice Beach. You know what I'm talking about? Because it's it's just a mess of so many different people, so many different cultures, you know? Venice Beach was, we, did, we didn't have an invite to go play there. We just showed up. We had a battery. Wow. And we hooked up to yeah, a boat battery. that was battery, perfect. That was perfect. And we just went on the boardwalk, and we just and picked up our plan. We every day. We started tips. Every day, every day, we every day. So now and we're going back every summer. Yeah, um, of course we have shows now that we go because people are watching the band. The other place, of course, is Sunken Gardens in San Antonio. That's an incredible place, you know. Um, what's the name of the theater in Colorado? Animus, is that the name of it? Sounds uh, right. But yeah, that's yeah. Uh, Todd Albert is there, close friends of ours. Uh, Remedy, you know, the DJ is there, you know, and of course, Colorado. <laughs> We're going to keep this clean, but. Sounds yeah, like because, Colorado was a lot of fun. Yeah, because, they, you know, they just legalized fun. <laughs> that's about, yeah, that's yeah, about as, know. yeah, that's about as, yeah, Man, they just. there's no filter here. So yeah, okay, open. okay, open. they're just, they're, they're just legalized, you know, and, and so we roster, so we burn the place down, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> um, in California, we, you know, uh, Jomo has a card. <laughs> <laughs> so we send him to every place in California and, and, and we sample everything. Um, um, shouts out to my son, Azram, he's in Germany. You know, um, Germany, another good place. <laughs> uh, European vibe is incredible and it's growing. It's really big. You'd be amazed at how much they actually love reggae music there, how much they actually love the culture and everything. You, you, you really would be amazed. I mean, Paris is four hours away from my house. And, oh, I lived in Mexico for two years. I went with that dude. We mm -hmm. did play in Mexico. We yeah. drove down there. We, we drove all the way down to Yucatan. Yucatan. Ooh, yeah, Yucatan. <laughs> we went to the Yucatan. You know, they left. I stayed. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a beautiful place. Mexico was over. Yeah, yeah. The Yucatan was wow, wow. Catamaco and wow. Okay, awesome. I think Yohandi, do you have a question? All right. Yeah, <laughs> I can uh, ask uh, one of uh, the signature question about. This scat session, we have a little, you know, deep thinking question at the end of uh, every interview. Right. And, um, you know, there's one thing that as humanity, we all have in common. In common. At, at some point, we're all going to leave this physical body, right? Right, right. So, uh, what, what do you think you want people, which song do you think people, you want for people to remember you by in your funeral? Like which song would represent you, or Believe when that enough. moment comes, which which song would you play for people to remember? Osram or Jomo or Dizzy for all of you. Okay, believe it or not, the um, um, the drummer before you, his name is Gil Young. We call him Junior Gil. His sister was in a tragic accident. She lost her life, and uh, at that time I was writing a song called Well Done. Mm -hmm. You know, and I told him I said, if you want to say you know, something to your sister on this, you know, this song, this would be a perfect song. And when he went to California to her funeral, the, um, the preacher preached on Well Done. You know, so when he came back to, to Houston, he said, man, I, I, have to, I have to put some words on this song. So we, we, um, we presented it at the Whaler Show, uh, and he did Well Done. He came in and laid down some incredible lyrics. I mean, incredible lyrics. It's, it's the, um, the, the root of the song is, when my work is done, I want to hear well done. Mm -hmm. You know, when I go before the Father, what is it that you want to hear? You know, and this one here. Since I'm the oldest, that's going to be my funeral song. That's what he said. That's, <laughs> that's how he said. And so everybody's like, well done, well done. 
Uh, it's on the CD um, that we just, not to put, what is it? Decision. It's on Decision. Yeah. No, it is on Decision. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's on Decision. Okay. We play a lot of music. Um, uh, we put out a CD in 13, 14? Before that. I think it was 14. Mike? 14. 14. We put out a CD. It's on iTunes. It's called Decisions. Uh, and that song is on there. It's called Well Done. We have an EP. We have a full length called Suspended Animation. Right. And we have a full length called Decisions. And yeah. they're all available on iTunes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And we're coming up with another full length. It's that's 12, called 13 songs. Yeah, yeah. Forward. Called for Yeah. The called CD is called Forward. Um, and I'm drumming on <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The new addition to the band. Uh, it's really been a blessing. We've, we've, we've had the most fun. I mean, really, we've had fun. Um, what a, well what, done. What, um, well where done. Can, can everybody find you, like uh, social media and all that stuff? Because now you said iTunes, and you talked to us about all your website stuff. and Good Facebook. Bonds. and what, yeah. What's the easiest way for everybody to? Okay, go to Indigenous Facebook. Um, Reverb Nation, um, All Spotify, uh, oh, man, um, <laughs> that, you know, everywhere. You, yeah, everywhere. All the stuff. man is everywhere. <laughs> right. I mean, just, just, okay, it's Google. spelled I D I G I N I S. I D I G I N I S. There's no other spelling anywhere in the whole world. <laughs> you go and f uh, Google it, I D I G I N I S. You'll find all the information you need to find. Um, call me. I'll answer. <laughs> I think all my right. number's out there. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much for the information. And uh, Christina, anything else you want to add? No, that's ask it. To let's the guys? make some music. Yeah. Let's, yeah, yeah uh, music. Right. Yeah, that's important. Thank so, you. cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get ready for the performance, guys. Thanks a lot. You can go ahead and uh, start setting up ah, for, uh, so we can play some music. And Thank you, guys. Thank you. For everybody, just remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get all our shows live. Uh, it's a scat session on YouTube. And we'll try to do a show once a week. Uh, last week we had our first show. We had CC Boulevard. This week we have Indigenous. We're gonna play. We're gonna try to do it every week. So uh, subscribe. <laughs> That's all I can tell. Thanks for watching and enjoy the music. Yes, sir, man, we call this tune Rastafari's Love.
There's a battle, the sweet children have victory. See them all come to destroy the family. Like the olive branch run by the dove. Trust them far right in love. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings. Truth reveals no more suffering. Doors wide open, no need to push it just. Trust them far right in love. The birth of a child. Warmth in his smile. Love in his eyes. Yeah, man, we're a little ska music. We call this one you. <laughs> Burn them. Oh, uh -huh. 
Take it a little fast. We're not afraid to deal with it. Just turn the fire, we'll deal with it. We want you to understand when the beginning begins, it's the beginning of the end. Listen to that man play such a beautiful keyboard on this tune. Love will open any door 
to walk away from the friends you've known your comfort zone. It's not an easy thing to walk away from those yesterday dreams that never do come true. Indigenous music in full effect, coming to you live and direct from Joe Hunty's house. <laughs> yeah, man. So we're burning eternal fire now. Yeah, this song here was brought to me by this man, Michael Phillips. He brought the rhythm to me. It was incredible, but it was first attempt at reggae music. And it was incredible. Once again, my name is Azram Levi. That's Dizzy Boots right there. Jomo Astafara. Michael Phillips on the, key, on the horn. Anura on the keys. And Johande on the drums. They would call this one Eternal Fire.
Yes, man. It's not right until we burn the fire. We keep the burning fire by 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 all night long. We burn them. Yeah, man. We'll play one more tune, and we call this one. She never knew. It's a love song because she never knew. Dude, man, <laughs> it's so nice. We have to do it twice. Come again.
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is our sh second show. This was Indigenous. We're going to be back next week with somebody else. We suck. Don't know yet. But thank you so much. Let's bring it together here. Thanks. All right, everybody come in. We suck. <laughs> the band, we always come together like this before and after a show, and we spell it I-D-I-G-I-N-I-S.